This is Celebrity Page TV. We're covering pop culture news from around the world. I'm Sonia Isabel here in the CelebrityPage.com New York City newsroom. Hey, James. Hey, Sonia, and I'm James Vaughn, keeping you covered from our West Coast newsroom. From Hollywood to your hometown, here's what's on today's episode. A lot of times, people don't see the hard, ugly side of flipping. They just see the beautiful end result. Ever dreamed of being a house flipper? Today, we're getting advice from the HDTV host who's teaching people the do's and don'ts of flipping. Also, I'm making sure that they buy the right house and do the right thing. That's really what it comes down to. I love it, man. This is like the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Before you buy your new house, we're getting advice from HGTV's newest star, Home Inspector Joe. Plus, as a family, we need to be on the same page. Real Housewives of Atlanta's Candy Burris joins us with a look at her new solo project on Bravo. But first, HGTV has a brand new show for struggling house flippers. And today we're chatting with the star of Fix My Flip. There's always a way to improve upon any flip. When you're in a hole, stop digging. HGTV fans know Paige Turner from Flipper Flop Nashville. Now she has her own series helping home flippers in California. I've been a real estate broker for 20 years and I've been a flipper for years. What we're finding now on Fix My Flip is that I'm going in to help flippers who get in a hole and they just don't know how to stop digging. Had it been my money, I can just say, yes, that's a great deal, but it's other people's money that I'm playing with, so I gotta really think this through. So I come in, I help them get out that hole, stop the bleeding. A lot of times with my own money because they've run out of money i have to invest my own money and show them how to properly run and make a profit from a flip very confident we will be able to get over eight hundred fifty thousand dollars for this house but if we don't i won't take a dime with the housing market hotter than ever page giving flippers and viewers all the tools they need for a successful and profitable renovation they're going to learn how to flip homes i give a lot of information you know there's no mystery to it anymore. You are literally seeing people from the beginning of a flip learn how to run their budget, run their crews, run their contractor, and get to the end result, which is not just a beautiful renovated property and this big, beautiful reveal, but also some money. I feel that with my coaching and what I can bring with my team, I need to be here. If I can do it, so can you. You know, I've overcome and I didn't have any of the tools that I'm giving through this show myself. I didn't have the mentor. I didn't understand budgets. I didn't know where to start. If you listen and take notes and, you know, do your own research, that you can do it too. I'm Paige Turner and I'm here to fix your flip. Look for new episodes of Fix My Flip Thursdays on HGTV. Now to another HGTV host who loves to give out tough love. Yeah, James, fans know Hillary Farr from the hit show Love It or List It. Now she has a solo series and she's telling me all about it in this one-on-one. -on -one. Ma'am, I believe you have a list to read. Oh, this is getting boring. Hillary and David, anything but boring on their hit series. Now I'm working with families whose problems are way bigger than bad floor plans. Now Hillary has her own new show called Tough Love. All right, well, I have to ask, fans have watched you for years on Love It or List It with David. Now this is your first solo series. Is that exciting for you? Is it nerve wracking? Is it a little bit of both? Um, it's not nerve wracking at all. It felt completely natural to be doing this because as you may have gathered on the show, when you watch me and David, basically, I could just kind of bump him right out of the way if I were allowed to. Don't worry, David and Hillary will be back together soon. You've got horrible taste. That's why you're here. <laughs> Are you ready for some tough love? But for now, she's focusing on families in need of blunt advice on how to improve their home space. So how do people respond to the tough love that you're giving? Do they battle you on certain things? Are they pretty open to it? Yes, they push back and I would listen and I would usually say, okay, you have a really good point, but you're still wrong. You know, blending a family is way more than just bringing people together. After all these years, does it still amaze you that, you know, just making a few simple changes to people's houses can have such an impact on them personally? I totally agree with you, yes. The smallest change can make such a big impact. I mean, look at your windows. If those windows weren't double height and all that natural light wasn't coming in, it wouldn't be the happy space that it is now. I love this feedback. Never in a million years would I have guessed that Hillary Farr would be in my home virtually <laughs> giving me this feedback. Um, Am I making you feel wonderful, I hope? You but really are, yeah. We're also happy to report Hillary is in remission after recently sharing about her breast cancer battle. I'm absolutely fine. I'm absolutely fine. Get some tough love on HGTV or streaming on Discovery Plus.
HGTV hosts are known for breaking down walls, but Carmine Sabatella is also known for breaking down barriers. And today we're talking with the host of Inside Out for this Pride Spotlight. We're home renovators in Southern California. I'm Carmine. I handle everything from the walls in. Carmine and his co-host Mike launching their series in 2021 and quickly finding fans. This has been kind of like a, a bucket list item of mine since I was in my early 20s. Um, I always, I always was drawn to HGTV. This house desperately needs a new floor plan. Now that dream becoming a reality with Inside Out, a show that's a little outside the box for HGTV audiences. They kind of wanted to change the platform a little bit of the standard HGTV show which is kind of like the move the bus or like, surprise, we finished your room. So they really wanted the client to be part of the process but from beginning to end. And then kind of going through and experiencing all the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. I think it's just absolutely stunning. Beautiful, I love it. The format isn't the only unique part of the series, so is the representation. Carmine, who is gay, part of a new generation of HGTV hosts, living their truths proudly on screen. Anything that happens on the show that can encourage people out there to be more genuine, to be themselves, to not be fearful of holding someone's hand in public or speaking the way they want to speak. You know, that to me then has done a huge job. And more good news for fans, the show has been renewed for a second season with new episodes expected later this year. Garage in the front, party in the back. It's going to be a garage mullet. Check out Inside Out on HGTV or streaming on Discovery+. Plus. When it comes to buying and renovating properties, Egypt Sherrod and Mike Jackson are anything but virgins. I got to chat with this real life husband and wife about their newest hit series, Married to Real Estate. This house is nasty. <laughs> Knock this wall out. We've watched Egypt Sherrod on shows like Flipping Virgins and Property Virgins. Mike and I are obsessed with finding value in homes. Now she and her husband, Mike, are teaming up on a series called Married to Real Estate. Tell us about your new show and how it's different than your previous HGTV shows. You know, it's different from Flipping Virgins, my last show, or the one before Property Virgins, where, you know, it was intentional and directed to the viewer. This is us welcoming you into our home. Uh, we call ourselves the Jackson Five. <laughs> I literally married Michael Jackson. <laughs> Let me see your face. With Egypt, the broker and designer, and Mike, the builder, together they make quite the HGTV dream team. Obviously, you have a great partnership in your personal life, but how is it now being professional partners as well? How is it, babe? It, well, it all yeah. depends on what day you ask me that question. <laughs> You've actually been a good day, so. <laughs> it's great. No, you get to do what you love to do with the one that you love. She's amazing at what she does. I would think I'm okay with what I do. I'll, I'll keep you. you keep me? Yeah. Um, but it's, it's been a blast. Look, stop yeah. being like dummy. <laughs> the series also introducing us to their kids and showing how they work to balance their busy lives as spouses, parents, and successful business owners. What is it like juggling it all? Ask any mother who runs three businesses and has three children. <laughs> it's, it's exhausting, but, but wonderful at the same time. Thank you so much. <laughs> Check out Married to Real Estate on HGTV or streaming on Discovery Plus. And look for Egypt and Mike on the new season of Rock the Block, Mondays on HGTV. Home Inspector Joe is the newest hit on HGTV. It's all about the man who makes sure your real estate purchase is safe. We caught up with Joe for some advice about buying in this hot market. What's your game plan here? I want it to go away. What if like, what if like I came in <laughs> and I just pull it out like this? Joe bringing the muscle and the know-how when it comes to home buying. Yeah, we're excited to have you tell us if it's okay. Well, it's game time, you know that. With 20 years of experience in the construction business, this licensed home inspector sharing a whole new perspective on HGTV. The show is different than all the other ones that are out there right now. The basis of the show is uh, we walk around, we have clients, we show them two, three houses, they decide on which house they really want, depending on price cost. Um, and then what's wrong with it? Because basically what I do is I break the house down. You have, this is what's wrong with it. It's gonna cost this much. Boom, 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 boom. He stays on these projects from beginning to end. Oh, right there, that's a gas sign. Joe not only doing inspections, but also working as a project manager with his design partner, Noel, on home renovation projects. Once they pick the house, we go in, Noelle designs it the way that she wants it, according to the clients as well. They need, they do what they have to do. And then I go in with the contractors and we just kick the butt. This is not easy. <laughs> 
demand in this seller's market with so many buyers rushing to purchase a home, Joe offering important advice to make sure you don't wind up with a money pit. How old is the heating system? How old is the, the AC, the hot water heater, uh, the roofing system? These are all big ticket items that you wanna worry about. The best part is it's not just a renovation show, you're learning. So anyone that's living in a home, renting a home, buying a home, selling a home, can learn. It's, it's showtime for me. You know, it's game time. Get more tips from Home Inspector Joe Wednesdays on HGTV or streaming on Discovery Plus. Still to come. It's still like. It's surreal. Yeah, it, it is. It's the surreal life for these two HGTV stars. We're finding out how they built brand new homes in just 100 days. And later. Four years ago, my husband Todd and I started a family restaurant called The Old Lady Game. Our new interview with Real Housewives star Candy Burris as she serves up fresh drama on Bravo. It's all coming up on Celebrity Page TV. Fit Meals for You offers over 40 custom meals, including vegan meals or keto meals delivered fresh to your door. Owner chef Joe Reck has worked with professional athletes and bodybuilders for over 25 years and knows what it takes to cook a healthy meal that tastes great. Fit Meal for You's fried chicken is one of the best in Las Vegas. Visit Fit Meals for You at 2101 South Decatur, just north of Sahara, or order your meal online and get it fresh to your door today at Fit Meals number four on letter U dot net. Fit Meals for You, healthy has never been easier. We know what it feels like to be unhappy and unhealthy, and we want to help you get to happy and healthy. We have nutrition programs, we have personal training, boot camp classes, CrossFit classes, and excellent coaching to help you get to where you want to be. But the best part of it is that we start by sitting down with you one-on-one, -on -one, and we talk about your goals, and we talk about your life's journey so far, and it's a free meeting where we figure out your life plan together. You're finally going to have help becoming the happiest and healthiest you can be. Welcome back to Celebrity Page TV. Now let's turn to the couple who are taking over HGTV. Brian and Mika Kleinschmidt are living the dream as they rock not just one, but two hit shows. The winner of Rock the Block is... This real life husband and wife taking down some of the biggest stars on HGTV, winning season two of Rock the Block. That was the hardest thing we've ever done in our <laughs> life, but um, we were actually secretly hoping there would not be a season three of Rock the Block, because that means we would just be reigning champions forever. And while Brian and Mika won't be competing this time, they will be making a special appearance. That's why we design and build homes from the ground up in 100 days or less. They're also busy launching the brand new season of their own hit show, 100 Day Dream Home. Our show is the only one on HGTV that we literally go from a dirt lot to a finished home. I mean, you know, in 100 days or less, and we showed the entire process. So what prompted you to just say we're ready to make a move. I have been just wanting to get out of our current neighborhood. That's right, Brian and Mika defying the laws of time and construction, building brand new homes in just over three months. So you're gonna see some really cool stories where we're putting like three generations under one roof and they all have their space and privacy. Um, and then just really some heartfelt journeys because it's a big decision. And a lot of the times, by the time people come to us, there's been a journey before that. So uh, we try to capture it all. The couple also capturing huge ratings as fans love watching them build beautiful houses in record time. I like to think that the stories that we're telling can connect and they're relatable. 
And you know, we are who we are on or off camera. And people like, sometimes they'll meet us and they're like, oh, you're just like you are on the show. And I'm like, absolutely. We are having a blast. We love what we do. And I think that comes across on our show and that's why the people love watching it. And uh, we're just blessed with the season three and uh, anything else that kind of comes along is uh, kind of cherry on top. So we're, we're, having, we're having fun. Check out new episodes Mondays on HGTV or streaming on Discovery Plus. All this home renovation is making us hungry. Our social producer, Ricky Cornish, is chatting with a famous restaurant owner. Hey, Ricky. Hey, James. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris is the latest Bravo celebrity bringing cameras into her popular restaurant. <laughs> OLG was a hit. From writing music to starring as a housewife for 13 years, Candy now showing fans her other role as restaurateur. When you get to shine a light on your family and the people that are on your team, that really makes me feel good because now it's like my whole squad is coming up with me, you know? You can't fire all of our people. Candy and the gang following the star and her husband Todd as they manage the Old Lady Gang restaurant and their dramatic staff. One part I loved in the trailer, Candy, was when you were like, we can't fire everybody. <laughs> That's what I was saying. The few people that we do have, we got to hold on to them. He's trying to let them go. I'm like, no. I don't, I don't want to let them go, but they're crazy, man. Like, when you watch this show, you're going to be like, I do not know how Todd deals with this. Candy's crazy and the staff is even crazier. The show also keeping up with Candy's Mama Joyce and Aunt Nora and Bertha. You know, they did bring some drama too, let me just say that. My mom, she actually gives out her phone number to the people that work there so they can call her and tell her all the tea. Isn't that crazy? Candy and the Gang airs Sunday nights on Bravo. For more trending stories, head to celebritypage.com. We know what it feels like to be unhappy and unhealthy, and we want to help you get to happy and healthy. We have nutrition programs, we have personal training, boot camp classes, CrossFit classes, and excellent coaching to help you get to where you want to be. But the best part of it is that we start by sitting down with you one-on-one, -on -one, and we talk about your goals, and we talk about your life's journey so far, and it's a free meeting where we figure out your life plan together. You're finally going to have help becoming the happiest and healthiest you can be. Welcome back. March is Women's History Month, and fresh off of International Women's Day, we're celebrating women around the world. Infinity and Waze have joined forces to celebrate women for International Women's Day, creating Pave It Forward, an interactive map experience powered by Waze that will give users the ability to view pins and waypoints spotlighting women-owned businesses and historical landmarks in their communities. Pave It Forward came about because we found, based on our research, that only about a quarter of the streets in US and Canada were named after women. So what did we do? We partnered with Waze to highlight both female history and female-owned businesses businesses that are so important for our economies. Infinity says they believe the road to a better tomorrow should honor those who've helped pave the way, and they wanted to do just that. The collaboration with Waze will help promote our mission because most people use Waze daily. Infinity will pair with them to highlight women in history and women-owned businesses, so you can stop and you can support them. To learn more about Pave It Forward, visit infinityusa.com and follow along with hashtag Pave It Forward. Celebrity chefs are cooking up delicious meals at home, including Martha Stewart and Gordon Ramsay. If you'd like to make your own tasty dishes, we're learning how in today's Celebrity Page Kitchen. 
March is National Frozen Food Month and the frozen food aisle has incredible options for your next at-home meal. And if you have not perused the frozen food aisle lately, it's time for a browse. Celebrity chef Jamie Gwen sharing affordable and bold flavors to spice up any home-cooked dish. Let's start at breakfast. Who doesn't love a Benedict, right? But could be intimidating. Don't think hollandaise. This is actually a Southern inspired tomato gravy that just puts the Benedict over the top. For kids and adults alike, pull out your panini maker because we're making the grilled cheese better. It's a panini waffle grilled cheese. Frozen waffles and that ooey gooey delicious cheese when you panini the waffle, you get golden crispy goodness. So you can buy veggie spirals in the frozen food section now. This is uh, spaghetti squash, but you can buy butternut and zucchini, right? This is an international grazing board that will please your family to the ultimate. Frozen food truly is the best value at the grocery store. For more information, visit easyhomemeals.com. We come back. Not only do we know what we're doing, but we look good doing it. Meet the real estate agents who got their own TV show from Oprah Winfrey. Next on Celebrity Page TV. We could all use a getaway this spring break. And Kalahari Resorts, home to America's largest indoor water parks, provides an escape the whole family will love. From the giant wave pool to the thrilling slides, Kalahari's indoor water parks will provide an always 84 degrees and sunny spring break getaway. With locations in Wisconsin, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Texas, your family's ideal getaway is just a short road trip away. Make your reservation today at kalahariresorts.com. Fit Meals for You offers over 40 custom meals, including vegan meals or keto meals delivered fresh to your door. Owner chef Joe Reck has worked with professional athletes and bodybuilders for over 25 years and knows what it takes to cook a healthy meal that tastes great. Fit Meal for You's fried chicken is one of the best in Las Vegas. Visit Fit Meals for You at 2101 South Decatur, just north of Sahara, or order your meal online and get it fresh to your door today at Fit Meals number four on letter U dot net. Fit Meals for You. Healthy has never been easier. We know what it feels like to be unhappy and unhealthy, and we want to help you get to happy and healthy. We have nutrition programs, we have personal training, boot camp classes, CrossFit classes, and excellent coaching to help you get to where you want to be. But the best part of it is that we start by sitting down with you one-on-one, -on -one, and we talk about your goals, and we talk about your life's journey so far, and it's a free meeting where we figure out your life plan together. You're finally going to have help becoming the happiest and healthiest you can be. Welcome back to Celebrity Page TV. The real estate market isn't just hot in your community, it's also doing big business on TV, from selling Sunset to Million Dollar Listing and also the Ladies Who List. Thank you for bringing all these beautiful powerhouses together. Atlanta has never been hotter. Oprah Winfrey's network premiering the new series, Ladies Who List Atlanta. And as far as Ladies Who List goes on the own Oprah network, like what? What an opportunity because representation does matter and who better than us? The real estate show following six brokers making big deals in a competitive market. You are going to get yourself into a lot of black business going on, okay? These ladies are selling real estate and I'm closing it for them. We're looking good doing it. We have successful businesses. We're juggling being moms, being wives, being parents, being, you know, like everything to everybody else. You're going to see greatness. The women hoping to inspire a younger generation to pursue their dreams, no matter how unreachable they may seem. I want young viewers to see that it's possible and follow our lead because we're here. Well, we've opened the doors. I hope that we impact almost every viewer that tunes in because we do have a lot going on and we have worked really hard. 
at what we do, when you look at it from that perspective, when you look at the future, um, it feels good to know that we did this and not just for ourselves. Check out Ladies Who List Atlanta on OWN. Yeah, I might need to give them a call. All right, James, thank you. For James and the team, I'm Sonia Isabel. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week here. And of course, we always have you covered on CelebrityPage.com for your daily trending stories.